This is one of the most basic flasher designs available. It takes what would have normally been a steady on voltage and turns it into an on off signal. What's interesting is that it uses nothing that could even remotely be considered a computer inside of this in order to make that signal. Because the flashing rate of this isn't digitally controlled, it can actually speed up and slow down based on a number of factors. I've already opened this up, so let's take a look inside. On this particular model, electricity has two different paths that it can take to get from one pin to the other, and sometimes one of those paths isn't available. The path that is always available is a tiny wire that's wrapped around a strip of metal. That tiny wire can't handle the amount of current that's passing through it, so it starts to heat up. More importantly, it heats up the strip that it's wrapped around. That strip of metal is made out of a different material than the metal it's attached to, and it will expand when heated at a different rate. Because both of these pieces of metal are attached at two points, when one expands, it's going to want to bend the other. Eventually, that strip expands to the point where the secondary piece of metal gets pushed into another electrical contact and allows electricity to flow through that instead of that wire. Because electricity is now able to flow through an easier path, the first path can take a break and it starts to cool down. Eventually, it cools down to the point where the metal will actually snap back out of place and that secondary path for electricity to flow down is no longer available and everything starts heading through that small wire again. This process will continue on until the user turns off the turn signal. However, this will actually flash at different rates depending on how many bulbs you have and some other factors. While this bulb isn't much of a resistor, it is a resistor. It resists the flow of electricity. It won't stop electricity completely, but it will slow it down in the form of reducing Reducing the amperage. These two components are going to be in series, which means electricity flows through one first and then the other. However, turn signals typically aren't just one bulb, and you don't have one of these for every single bulb that you have. Imagine there's people trying to get out of a building and there's only one door. That door is this light bulb, and the current is how many people can get through that door. Things in series would be like, there's one door and then there's another door and you have to go through one first and then the other. However, parallel doors are like, one door is over here and one's over here, and people can head through both of them at the same time. When people can go through both of them at the same time, the amount of amperage, as in how many people are getting out of the building all at once, is higher. Your turn signal bulbs, as in the front one, the rear one, one possibly in the mirror, and any of your marker lamps that turn on and on when a turn signal is activated, those are all in parallel. The more light bulbs you add to the circuit in this way, the more amperage you get overall when the circuit converges. In order for a flasher unit to handle all those bulbs, then it has to be on that point where the circuit converges and it's handling all of that amperage. With that extra amperage, you get more heat in that tiny wire, which means this heats up faster and turns on and off faster. One of the drawbacks to this particular flasher is that it has to warm up first before you get your first light out of your turn signal bulbs. There are some thermal flashers out there that would also use a bimetallic strip like this that instead of heating it up to make it make contact, heating it up pulls the contact away. However, both designs tend to not play very well with LED replacement bulbs. Modern flasher units are more digitally controlled and sometimes have artificial sound in them to replicate the original sound of a thermal flasher. Sometimes you don't even get a replaceable unit like this anymore, and it's just a system that's built into an ECU or similar computer. So when you upgrade your turn signal bulbs to LEDs, sometimes it's necessary to get a flasher unit that's compatible with LEDs, or if you have one of those ECU setups that is controlling the signal, you sometimes have to trick it into thinking that you have normal bulbs when you have your LEDs installed. This is a resistor unit that will be installed parallel to the bulb. If you want to see what happens when one of these resistors gets placed in series instead of in parallel, check out this video right here. But if series and parallel aren't making too much sense, I have a video here explaining it in more basic terms. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next Car Simplified video.